What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you an MITD gameplay on Arkadin. This is an MW3 gameplay if you guys didn't know. And the reason I'm uploading this is because it is Throwback Thursday, uh, the first in my installment series. I'll be doing it every Thursday until Call of Duty Ghost is released, so that's only like two or three Thursdays, I know, but that's why. Um, and I want to give out a huge shout out to VTS for allowing me to do this. I'm hoping that this goes on their channel. Of course, if they don't like it, then they won't, but it'll at least be on their Facebook page and my channel. And even if they don't put it up on their channel, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity. So, for the, if this does go on their channel, a little bit about me, I am 17 years old, I am a competitive Call of Duty player, 99% of what I upload is competitive content, this however is not, this is a public gameplay, and that's just kind of the thing I bring, I t usually bring tips and tricks, and help you guys get better at the game. So, a little bit about this gameplay, this is a near double Moab, I believe I get one kill off the double. And if I had been counting when I had done this, I might have played the last little bit of this a little different. I don't die, but, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys see what happens in the end there. But, anyway, the main thing here is that I'm going to be talking about is competitive Call of Duty Ghost. So, there's been some information released about it, and I would like to go over it real quick with you guys. So, the first thing is that there's going to be a clan versus clan playlist. And it's supposed to have the MLG rule set. So... This is going to be a good thing, I feel. It's going to be replacing League Play. Uh, it's going to be clan-based, skill-based, two-week competition, so it should be matching you up with people about your same level. And this this is good and bad. The good is that it's going to be a lot more competitive than League Play was because it's only teams. So everybody has teamwork, everybody's playing a specific role in everything. Uh, this is also bad, however, because it's only teams. Um, you know, if... It's harder. It's going to be harder to play competitive now for some people because they don't have teams, and it's going to be harder for them to find people to play with because they can't go into a competitive setting and look for people their same level. But you know, I mean, I, I think overall it's going to be pretty good, and I understand if it's a little bit frustrating for some of you guys, but I think it's going to be the best plan in in the long run. Um, so what's going to happen with? the clan versus clan playlist is there's going to be a map with different areas and each of these areas is going to have an objective for example win 20 domination games or something of the sort I don't know the exact objectives yet but when you with the first clan that achieves that objective will hold that position and holding this position gives you bonuses such as an XP boost um, and the one thing about this though is that while your while your clan is holding one of those, er every other clan in your area's score starts to uh, stack against you. So it's really easy to lose that position because every all of their scores start stacking together, and it it can knock you out extremely quickly. It's very difficult to hold on to. So I'm not sure it, how that's going to work exactly. If there's a lot of clans in your area, it might be less than a minute that you hold it. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see how they work that out. Um, I'm almost wondering if they're going to make two playlists with this, uh, one for more of the public match people so that they can just kind of go in with their clan and everything, and one with competitive. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. I'm almost wondering if some of this information is for a public playlist. We'll, we'll have to see what happens with that. Um, and there's going to be a leaderboard system with this clan versus clan playlist. And this leaderboard is going to be extremely important for those of us who are serious about competitive because they have announced... On top of returning the COD Championships this year, they will be inviting several teams from the leaderboards on the the top of the leaderboard on the clan versus clan playlist to go to COD Champs. And if you don't know what COD Champs are, it is a million dollar tournament that has um, started to be hosted annually for the past couple years. And the top teams from around the world come to compete. There's usually eight from America, eight from Europe, and then fillers from different nations and and usually it's just american teams or european teams that win uh, that that's how it usually goes but i mean it's a huge deal lots of viewership tons of money it's it's a cool thing another thing that infinity ward is going to be bringing to cod ghost is a new spectator mode and this is going to be different than the codcaster mode that we're used to in black ops 2 now they haven't released all the details yet 
but it sh I feel like it's going to be fairly similar. It should have a lot of the same features. We'll see how that goes. Um, another thing is, they have taken out some of the what the, the competitive game modes that we're used to. They've taken out CTF and Hardpoint. So a lot of people are speculating what's going to be replaced with it. Um, right now, people are looking to search and rescue, uh, Blitz and Cranked for possible competition. Nobody really knows for sure yet though. Um, I'll go into more detail in a future video on these game modes. I want to save that for another video. It's just, they're, they're, these game modes tend to promote extremely aggressive play, so I'm not sure if that is going to wind up being the best thing. But anyway, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know in the comment sections below what I can do better. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.